Hello you guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be seeing how many chicken nuggets I'm able to crochet with one skein of chenille home slim yarn. So if you guys haven't seen this video series in the past, I did do this for how many pickles I can crochet with burnout blanket as well as how many leggy frogs I can crochet with just chenille yarn. So today's video is going to be how many chicken nuggets with chenille home slim yarn. So for this chicken nugget pattern, this yarn and all the other materials of course will be linked in the description box below for you to check out if you want to of course get the same yarn or use the same pattern. And if you guys do want to see the previous videos where again I did leggy frogs with just chenille and pickles with burnet blanket, then I will have those linked in the description box for you as well if you want to watch those after this one. But with that, let me give you the breakdown for this Chenille Home Slim Yarn, which Chenille Home Slim Yarn is by Loops and Threads. I get it at Michael's. I think it's only available at Michael's, but I could be wrong on that. Um, but anyways, it is 212 yards, 8.8 ounces, 200 meters, 250 grams. It is considered a super bulky number six. Suggest eight millimeter crochet hooks or 6.5 millimeter knitting needles. And this is the color mustard. So this is what I'm gonna be using for my chicken nuggets today. And we're gonna see how many I'm able to crochet with this full skein. Okay, so I have my skein of Chenille Home Slim here. And I have a 6.5 millimeter hook since that's what I normally use with Chenille Home Slim and Sweet Snuggles Light since they're pretty much interchangeable. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on these little chicken nuggets, which this is my first time actually making this pattern. So I haven't decided like what eye size I'm gonna use or anything like that, but I will decide on the first one depending on what I think looks best. Here's my first little chicken nugget, which I went with 12 millimeter eyes and just a little smile on this one, but I am going to do an angry one next, I think. But yeah, this is what it looks like and this is what the skein looks like, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be here for a while making chicken nuggets.
Here's chicken nugget number two, and I did make it an angry one this time. And here's what the skein is looking like. So again, I feel like there's gonna be a lot more crocheting to be done to even get this to the point where it looks like it's been used. <laughs> Okay, here is the third little chicken nugget, and here's the skein, which again, I still feel like doesn't look like I've used any of it yet, but we're gonna keep going until it's all gone. And I haven't been timing how long these take yet, but I need to so that I know how much to charge for them. So for this next one, I'm gonna set up my timer and I will let you guys know how long it takes me to make one of them. This took me about 20 minutes, 19 minutes and 48 seconds to be exact to make this fourth chicken nugget. So I would say each one is about 20 minutes or so to make. So anyways, that is this fourth one. And here is what the skein is looking like with the fourth one. So now we're gonna move on to the fifth one. Okay, here is number five done, and here's what the skein is looking like, which it is now almost 11 o'clock, it's 10.46, so I'm gonna make one or two more tonight, we'll see, but I'm definitely gonna have to come back to using this skein tomorrow or another day because I've still got a lot of it left, obviously. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna start to number six. Okay, here's number six, done. And here's what the skein is looking like, which again, I feel like I keep saying this every time, but it doesn't look like I've used any of it and I've made six of them. So, anyways, I'm trying to debate. It's midnight right now, so I'm trying to figure out if I wanna make one more or go to bed. I think I'm gonna go to bed. 
because I'm trying to keep myself on a decent sleep schedule and it already takes me like 30 minutes to an hour to fall asleep so that means I'll be falling asleep at like one maybe so I should go to bed but I'm going to pick up probably tomorrow if not in a few days for sure but at some point to finish off chicken nuggets with this skein of yarn okay it is now the next day and I'm going to get started on chicken nugget number seven Here is chicken nugget number seven, and here is what the skein is looking like. So now it is time to start number eight, of course. Okay, so here is number eight done, and here's what the skein is currently looking like. So now on to number nine. Here is chicken nugget number nine, and here is what the skein is looking like now. I feel like it's finally starting to look like I've actually used it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start on number 10. Okay, here is chicken nugget number 10 done. Also, it is thundering outside, so I apologize if you guys can hear that. But anyways, here's what the skein is looking like now. So now we're gonna move on to number 11. Here is number 11 done, and here's what the skein now looks like. So now we're moving on to 12.
Okay, here is number 12 done. And here's how the skein is looking now. So I'm gonna start on 13. Can you tell I'm getting bored of just chicken nuggets? I'm really trying to finish this, but I am very much so getting bored of just only making chicken nuggets for so long. <laughs> Here is number 13, and here is the skein. I feel like this will probably get me like two to three more, but we shall see. Maybe even like four or five, I don't know. Okay, here is now number 14, and here's the skein. So, going on to 15 now. Okay, here's number 15, and here's what the skein is looking like. I think this will probably get like two more, maybe three tops out of it, but it's now time for me to go eat dinner. I've been making chicken nuggets all day today so far. <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and eat dinner, and then I'll be back to do the last two or three or however many I can get out of this. Okay, here is number 16 then, and here is what the skein looks like now. So I think I'll probably get one more, maybe not even a full one, we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna start, and of course, I will let you guys know. Okay, so this is the end of the skein, and it's working out perfectly for this last little chicken nugget. So I'm gonna use it to, of course, sew it closed. And then I will weave in the end here and give it a little face. And then that will be all for the chicken nuggets. Okay, and here is the final one, so let me show you a little overview of all of them. So here is an overview of all the chicken nuggets, and I was able to make 17 of them total with one skein of Chanel Home Slim Yarn. 
which is 218 yards. So yeah, 17 is the final answer for how much I could make with one skein. I never remembered to film an outro for this video, but that is all. Like I said, the total was 17 with the one skein of yarn. So thank you all so much for watching today's video. Of course, always like, subscribe, all the things if you enjoyed. It really helps out my channel. And of course, the links for the pattern and the yarn and everything else will be included below. But with that, thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed. Goodbye, you guys.